the storm arrives. And we have storm response plants that we can activate at a moment's notice. Heavy rain and damaging wind. What BC Hydro is doing to keep the lights on. Surveillance sting. I think a lot of people have reason to be concerned about this. Are Vancouver police spying on your cell phone? And heading in the right direction? Can't get rid of heading the ball, that's for sure. American authorities ban this move for younger players. Will Canada follow? Live from Global BC, the News Hour with Chris Galis and Sophie Louie. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Mother Nature is delivering on those nasty weather warnings tonight. We have breaking news from the southwest where a house has been destroyed by fire. It broke out in Christie Park just over an hour ago. The very latest ahead. This is the News Hour. Here's what else we're working on. Tonight on the News Hour. Fire engulfs the Calgary Strip Mall. People at Max said they heard a pop, like an explosion. The destruction of property and the livelihoods lost. You son of a... No charges for the man who unleashed a verbal tirade on a Calgary cabbie. Why police have decided not to lay any again. New or just new to you? When you buy new tires, you expect them to be brand new tires. How to spot the difference between newly produced and simply not used? Now from Global Calgary, the News Hour with Gord Gillies and Linda Olson. Good evening. We begin with breaking news, a house fire in the southwest. It is the second major blaze. Firefighters in our city have been battling. Gallery of Alberta from our Global One News helicopter. A plan is being devised to one day drop admission to the facility, making it a free attraction. You'll find out why coming up on the News Hour. Tonight on the News Hour. Spending concerns. The Alberta School Boards Association might be spending a great deal of taxpayer dollars on staff perks instead of on students. The expenses that have some asking for an investigation. They fear they'll lose everything. There was something wrong and everything pointed to the water. An Alberta farming family is wondering what's next. A nearby gas plant is jeopardizing their livelihood. In one Alberta town, there is one man who plays this song every single year. The story of what drives him to perform the touching tribute each Remembrance Day. I'm meteorologist Jesse Beyer with a look at your forecast details this evening. Snowfall warnings remain in effect for southern Alberta. We'll take a closer look at that and your local forecast coming up later in the show. Now from Global Edmonton, the News Hour with Gord Steinke and Nancy Carlson. Good evening. Questions are being raised about spending by the Alberta School Boards Association. Now, from the Global News Center, the Halifax Evening News with Ron Kronstein. Good evening. We begin tonight with breaking news at this hour from Paris, where apparently a series of coordinated attacks are keeping sp police busy everywhere there. Now, this is a live shot from French television station BFM TV. Now, from Global Lethbridge, this is the Evening News. Developing news tonight, a night of terror in Paris. Multiple attacks throughout the city have left more than 60 people dead and a massive hostage situation involving up to 100 has overtaken a theater. Serving Greater Montreal, this is Global News. Hi there, thanks for joining us. Well, for 48 hours now, the city of Montreal has been dumping its raw sewage into the St. Lawrence River. Today, the mayor decided to get up close a look at the pipes that are under urgent repair. Our Tim Sargent joins us live from Griffintown now with more. And Tim. Now, from the Global News Center, the New Brunswick Evening News with Ron Kronstein. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. A facility in Cassidy Lake has been helping hundreds of young people with their substance abuse for almost 20 years now. A state of emergency declared in Paris, dozens dead. The borders closed and police telling residents to stay home. A West Kelowna senior survives a harrowing ordeal after a thief enters her home and ties her up. As Penticton faces closing down schools, new options help keep education close to home for students.
This is Global Okanagan News at 5 with Rick Weber. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Rick is off. Good evening again, and the city of Paris is in lockdown. Rule of thumb is 4% or less is affordable, but ultimately, council will decide what's affordable. So will they approve a 3.9% tax hike? That's what's being recommended in the city's proposed budget. Who wouldn't be scared? A bullet comes flying through your window in the you know, middle of the night. So it's just, it's unsettling. A mother woke up to find her front window damaged by apparent gunshots. We're just trying to find um, a baby that my mom put up for adoption in 1980. But it's not an easy search in Saskatchewan. Social Services has a three-year wait list to even start an adoption investigation. From the Global Regina Studios, the Evening News with Whitney Stinson. Good evening. If you are just joining us after Global National, our coverage of the tragic Paris events continues online at globalnews.ca. But right now, we want to turn your attention to your local news. And it has been a big news day for local homeowners. The city of Regina is out with its proposed budget. After the city implements a local smoking ban, there's a call for the province to follow suit. A refugee struggled to reunite with her family as the city prepares for an influx of Syrians. And how a simple sticker on a business window is helping out people with Crohn's and colitis. Live from the Global Saskatoon Studios, the Evening News with Wendy Winiski. Good evening. We begin with developing news out of Paris where there is chaos and confusion at this hour. From the Global Newsroom in Toronto, News Hour. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alan Carter. He shocked the country with a string of gruesome murders. Now, Paul Bernardo, Canada's most notorious serial killer, is shocking Canadians once again with word that he is a published author. It's Thursday, October 29th, and tonight we will find out who one lucky winner will be for the Dream Lottery for Kids. Global News is at St. Boniface Hospital for the draw live tonight. Here's what else is coming up this evening. A teen girl shot in the chest thanks those who saved her in an exclusive with Global News. Plus, hundreds of thousands of auto-injectors of a potentially life-saving drug are recalled nationwide, alarming parents just days before Halloween. And later, carving for a cause, how a Winnipeg man in the Halloween spirit is supporting a charity close to his heart. From the Global News Center, the Evening News with Heather Steele. Thanks for joining us. She was shot in the chest and tonight Callie Vanderay is speaking out for the first time.